welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT-TV. Last year, MDT highlighted a clever therapy device for those recovering from the effects of a stroke. The technology was essentially a glove connected to a tablet, enabling the user to play a variation of the video game Guitar Hero. The person touches their fingers together based on the game's instructions, and you end up having a pretty entertaining way of helping to restore functionality following a stroke. Sam, it's my turn. As great as this therapy device is, and as much fun as it can be, it was even better to hear that the company behind it, Flint Rehabilitation Devices, received a $1.5 million grant from the National Institutes of Health. NIH is interested in seeing the impact the device could have on people with spinal cord injuries as well as those who have recently experienced a stroke. The device has already gone through clinical and home-based trials with patients who are more than six months removed from experiencing a stroke. Okay, my turn. The technology reflects a great design marriage of a consumer-type entertainment device with a healthcare need. The end result is a perfect example of how design engineers can look to other industries for inspiration on developing medical device solutions. Researchers from the University of California in San Diego have developed a special bio-ink that enables them to draw sensors onto virtually anything, including the human body. The ink reacts with several chemicals, including glucose, making them ideal for a number of medical monitoring and diagnostic applications. Among the development challenges was identifying biochemicals for the ink that wouldn't be harmful to humans while at the same time functioning as the sensor's electrodes. One pen filled with the ink is believed to be able to draw the equivalent of 500 glucose sensor strips. The next phase involves connecting the sensors wirelessly to monitoring devices. Researchers from the University of Tokyo and the Tokyo Institute of Technology have designed a protective treatment delivery vehicle for RNA molecules in an attempt to silence cancer genes in cells. The key ingredient is a gold nanoparticle, which provides optimum stability and size as the treatment travels to the cancer cells through the bloodstream. This technique offered the ability to produce the nanoparticles in a reliably low size distribution. The resulting nano architecture had the optimum overall size, which was small enough to infiltrate cells and large enough to accumulate. While knowing when we need to go to the bathroom can be something most of us never give much thought to, for a number of people it can be a situation that just stinks. For the elderly or those who experience fecal incontinence, getting a status report on your bowels can be a relief. Triple W's D-Free device is a wearable that gives advance notice to the user when they can anticipate needing to go, providing a 10-minute advance window. While it's unlikely we'll see social media integration, the device will certainly go a long way to easing users' discomfort and potential embarrassment. Sam! Oh, oh, uh, for more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com or get involved in the discussions at Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn via the links below. For Sean Fenske, I'm Sam Brusco, and this has been The Pulse.